So just another quick video about Virtual GTA 2021 and the stem separation feature and a little thing that's been added to the stem separation feature in the latest release, which is built 6042. So what is that? Well, that's the stems bleed feature. So I've uploaded a track up, track up here. So a regular track, I have some vocals down if I played here. And then if I jump to the second cubine, I have a part that's only instruments. So, uh, of course, I can uh, then uh, play with the stems separation, like always. But you can see if I play with the vocals part, I get a new bleed feature here. So what is that? Well, uh, the bleed feature is actually only working on the vocals and the instruments part, so only these two. And what it does is that if you remove something or you isolate something, it lets the other stuff bleed whatever you are removing, then it's part of that stuff. Or if you're isolating it, all the other stuff, bleed a little bit into your audio. And since this is not an exact science, you can actually uh, often hear that too much is removed. So uh, when that is the case, it can be a good idea to bleed some stuff in there so you get part of it back, even though you might get a little bit more artifacts from the other stems. So if I, for instance, uh, played the, uh, the instruments part here, so I had a, a pure instruments part here, and I try removing the vocal, there is no vocal, but since, uh, but since uh, 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 I can still click the button and try and remove it and set the bleed to zero, so there's no bleed, you can actually hear that I'm removing stuff even though there aren't, there is no, vo there are no vocals here. So you can, you can hear that if I do this. So remove vocals. A lot of other stuff disappears, as well as the vocals that aren't there. But if I then try to change the the bleed up here a little bit, you can hear that I'll bring some of it back. So if I I uh, no remove the vocals, I get the bleed saying zero percent and I can click that up. That's a little bit, a lot of work here. So I actually mapped it up here. Uh, so I have easier access like this. And you can also do that on your controller if you wanna adjust this a little bit all the time whenever you're using stems, which I think I will do because it's a great new feature. But, and the ma mapping is really simple. It's just stems bleed. So if I then uh, try to, uh, to isolate vocals again, like this, and play and turn up the stems bleed like this do here then there's almost no difference then there's absolutely there's almost no difference between removing the vocals that aren't there on till the very end, you just heard them, uh, and then keeping it in there because the rest is just bleeding in. So that's actually a, a great little feature. But uh, what about if there are actual vocals? Let's, let's try that then. Jump back here and little vocals back in. So vocals. And I should, uh, remove them. You can hear a little bit of artifacts, but you can also get, you can also get all the music. So maybe turn down a little bit to about here and you get all the music but no vocals so this seems to be a great little setting for this particular track and that's why i want to map it to a, to a knob on my controller so i can work with a little bit whenever i'm actually doing stem separation so that's a, that's actually the bleed feature so is there anything more to say yeah as you could see when i disabled it and enabled it again it jumps, and if I isolate it, um, you can see it says zero now, and now it says 50 something. And the same for instruments, that's because it's actually four values, it's not just one value. Uh, but that doesn't really matter much because you're actually changing the value, uh, the value you want whenever you're touching something first and then adjusting it, it'll just work, it'll just be on the correct parameter. But if you wanna see what it actually does, you can, Click out options and then put in bleed. And you can see all four values here. Uh, there's one for 
for the muting the vocals and muting the instruments and for having only vocals and only the instruments. And I actually think the default values that Atomics have put in here, 80, 30, 0, 0, are pretty good. But you, of course, want to try to mess with it a little bit, see what is good for you and what you like listening to when using the stems here. So uh, these won't actually change if I do anything out here because this window doesn't auto update. But if I, for instance, look at the, the stems mute here uh, and the bleed is set to 30% and I clo close it and I mute the instruments and I change it here and I open here again. You can see that now it changed it to 70. So it is actually the values in here that are getting changed, all four of them, when you work with it. So uh, what else? Well, it also works when you're uh, using the regular um, EQing way of doing it. So you can see that when I start turning those, you'll also see this jumping because the stems uh, bleed also works on this stuff. Like this. And the same for instruments. So there's the same values, values basically. So even if when you're using the EQ buttons to control this, you can still use the stem split to uh, to help uh, with getting a better result. Another thing is the pre-computed stems. This, this work with pre-computed stems, and yes, it does. These two was tracks was actually uh, were actually pre-computed before this new update. But even so, uh, when I load it here and play it, and for instance, remove the instruments. Uh, based on the old pre-computed stems, the bleed still works, as you can hear, like that. So it even works with the pre-computed stems, and it even works with the old pre-computed stems that was maybe done before this new version was released. So it's a little bit about the new bleed option or bleed feature uh, with the stems in Virtual DJ 2021.